Okay, okay, we are back with some more Ethel Kane. Next up is Knuckle Velvet, uh, featuring Yaw Wave, but also produced by Yaw Wave. It's also known as Alex and Little Trist, is an electronic producer from Tallahassee. Okay, let's check it out. God damn. Before it drops, I got a feeling it's going to drop. It might do an anti-drop. But, dude, damn, dude, the vocals on this, on point, on point like a decimal. Um, also, when the bass kicked in around here, see it on your face or shed your knuckle. It was shed your knuckle velvet. What does that mean? Like a glove? Um, but, yeah, when that, when that bass came in, dude, that was nice. That lower end filling up. Velvet is commonly known as a soft material. We know what velvet is, of course. Um... Velvet knuckle, knuckle velvet refers to skin on the knuckles. Is that true? In this lyric, she basically says the skin around her partner's knuckles are caught and torn on her teeth from the punching her in the face. Jesus Christ. God damn, dude. Come, this part, I was a little bit confused. It sounded it sound like she said, got me through the heart, but gore me through the heart. That's even more like, you know, like, that's even more hardcore. When he comes back into her life, he does it ruthlessly, reminding her of all the pain and heartache he's caused her before. Gore also has a particular violent imagery, suggest suggesting deep heartache felt by the speaker. It also suggests it's further, it's further love lost every time he leaves her life just to come back again. Damn, dude. Was this is this a story like the the other album, or is this uh, is this some real shit? Because this, if this is some real shit, dude, uh, that's just, you know, like, I, I hope things aren't like this anymore, you know? The vinyl crackling. Yo, you know how fine that sounds? That sounds so good. I don't want to say like like Nickelback, because people always hate on Nickelback, but Nickelback's amazing. But kind of that era, that kind of era of like, I don't even know kind of call what's what's that genre, but oh my god, that sounds so good. Those guitars and the vocals coming back in, everything's all full again. Wow.
Damn. Oh man. Dude. Dude, dude, I love stuff like that, dude. Like instrumental breaks where a guitar kind of does its thing and then they're like the vocals are either like 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 that, you know what I mean? They're they're ums, ahs, oohs, things like that. But this as well, where it's like it's a singular word being repeated with like different um cadences and stuff. I I love that, dude. It's just so I don't know what to, how to explain it. It's it's just a nice break that's refreshing and it kind of just lets the emotions flow. And the guitar's so like trippy too. Oh, I... Creepy. Wow. Dude, that was sick. That was heat. That was fire. This part right here, I think Ethel Kane actually did it. Yeah, verified annotation. Every time he, he hurts her, it costs her the love and time she gave to him that she won't ever get back. He just ways to continue draining her of everything she's willing to give in an attempt to help him. Damn! So it is a story because uh, Ethel's talking in like the third person, right? Interesting. No bio? What's, what's the comment saying? Perfect. I don't know how, but the song makes me cry. I mean, I think that's a valid response. Like, look at this person. <laughs> look at all those crying emojis, dude. There's no more tears left to cry. Shouts out Ariana. All right, let's see on YouTube, because there's only like three comments over there. Nothing hurts like you do. All these are the lyrics. Discovering the song was the best thing to ever happen to me. This is one of the songs that gave me the courage to walk away. Wow. See, I love that. I love that, dude. When you When art can, like, make people make better decisions for themselves uh i think it's amazing but i get like how it's a hard decision to make i mean i don't get it but i can understand i don't want to say i understand because i've never been in that position but i'm aware that it's not just just walk away you know and you can't just do that like a lot of the time um and sometimes you need that push and when art can give people that push i think that's great um i just hope they have like a plan you know and and someone that can take care of them right make sure they're safe Chills, every time I listen to this song, you're incredibly talented. I am beyond glad that I found you. One of the best Ethel songs, Chills, every time I hear it. And this song wasn't... Usually with Ethel's stuff, it's um, her per, per her own production, right? But this was Yaw Wave. And Yaw Wave did a great job. I gotta say, Yaw Wave, they get it. Matha Kane phase will never end. You come in too hard, go me through the heart. Um, anyone who's ever been in a toxic relationship feels this so hard. So much love for you, Ethel. Aw. I hope people get to remember some things when they die because I don't want to forget this one. <laughs> the type of body chills I get when listening to Ethel are like nothing I've ever experienced before. Not me being an Ethel stand and coming back to discover this absolute bop. Coming back? Wait, how old is this? This is four years ago. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Four years ago. I'm late to the parade, dude. It's been a minute and a half. Like a minute and 45 seconds. Damn. That was sick though. I enjoyed that. The production was fire. Uh, the vocals were great. The lyrics were dark and heavy. Um, again, I like the guitar. The guitar is trippy, dude. I like that trippy ass guitar. Uh, keep early, man. Keep. Will I rate this track? I want to go like. I want to go nine. Nine oh. Nine oh on the dot. The outro, the outro was fire too. I like that outro a lot where the guitar is kind of doing its trippy thing and you got the vocals just going. Not like like Ariana going, but like going, letting it out. Uh, really nice, man. 9-0 for me. Really dope.